Welcome to the video by DJS PRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. And today we have the latest flagship from Axial. Is the Axial 40th Anniversary uh, Pro Line K K10 Special Edition. It's a 1982 Chevy K10 110 scale electric all-wheel drive RTR with a pro line body. <clears throat> it is a nice, nice vehicle. Uh, it does come with the two dual lights. Front and back. I'm not sure if it's the back. No, just the front. It is based off the base camp vehicle. It does have portals. <clears throat> it is still a nice vehicle. I would have preferred to see the ACX-10 3, like the normal one, I will say. That has the inner fenders, uh, the middle covered. Because right now it's wide open. I do like mine. Or worst case, you could uh, 3D print them. But it does have the side mirrors that fold. Step side. 1.9 chrome rims. I was just not sure if it comes with a cap. Don't see it. Rear chrome bumpers with a license plate saying 40 years. Front one too. The only thing I'm noticing uh, that it might have a problem. If you kind of look at the bumper, it's starting to do the banana. If you go on a top view, it's bowing right now. I'm not sure if they're all like that. Just hoping this one might have uh, an issue. But let's remove the body and see what's inside. You will see the lights. Oh, it's not even four lights. I do apologize. It's only the top one, but you can add more lights to it. <clears throat> but if we take a look inside, The uh, bumpers, you could go with a normal SCX-10-2-3, should I say bumpers? They're just sliders. Same thing as the rear. It is a 15 turn with a Spectrum speed control. It is a 40 amp. They decide not to go all in one in this one. There is a receiver in this box. They could have went with the all-in-one, but I guess they decided to go separately. You do have the S414 servos, 201 ounces of torque. Uh, you do have an SR315 in it. And like I said, a 15 turn, 5, 4, no, 35 turn. I don't know why I said 15, <laughs> but yeah, 35 turn, uh, 540 brush motor. It does have the Hydrax G9 tires on it. Those are nice tires. Really love them. With a set of Proline shocks, all aluminum. Instead of being plastic. It does have portals. All the links are aluminum or metal. That's one thing I do like. They're not plastic. The center drive shafts are still plastic. But that's very cheap to change. It 
to place to put a battery here in the back and you could extend these to put a smaller one here if you want to calibrate your uh, your weight if you don't want your truck too heavy on one side or too heavy in the back These are the other set of lights that's in the bumper. I would transfer these to the body. If I, that would be me. But yeah. If you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It does help a lot the channel and I do appreciate it. Put the body back. And this is the K10 from Pro, from Axial K, uh, Axial SCX10 3 Special Edition 1982 Chevy K10. And if you're looking for one and you're in Canada, go check out Great Hobbies. Thank you for watching.